Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress 40.13 Part 8. I actually know which part it is this time, and um, I forgot to pause the game in between versions, or in between uh, um, episodes of this Let's Play, and while it was uh, still going in between videos, we got some migrants. Let's see who we got here. We got one, two, looks like some hunters, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wow, ten, ten new people, wow, that'll, that triples our, our, uh, previous population, let's, uh, go ahead and pause the game. And take a look at these guys. Um, okay. So we've got no one to do this stuff. So these guys are just going to do that full time, I think. Uh, they'll be architects and carpenters and masons full time. Uh, let's see. we got, yeah, two hunters here. Well, two kind of ranger type people. The third one, kind of. Let's see, we've got cooking, brewing, uh, glass making, shearing, spinning, dyeing. Nothing super exciting. This guy's a farmer. Or a, f a fisher. What am I thinking? Fisher. This guy is a ranger, probably eventually a military person, ranger. And we'll put you in the ranger category as well, buddy. Let's see, we can go ahead and set the military. Do we have anyone? No melee military, huh? We actually have no one who can work. Oh, yeah. Well, we might have to set up some kind of outpost for uh, archery because all we have is, is uh, ranged people at the moment. We have four people who can be mark stores, two archers, and an ambusher. Uh, no melee people at all, so maybe we'll have to take a different strategy than I normally do. Um, let's go ahead and um, well, let's finish marking all our guys. I'll go ahead and mark these guys as future future archers and our fisher looks like a whole just squad of archers just came well, some of these guys were in the second. Our minor leader is an archer. Let's just leave him as a minor leader. Well, minor. Captain? We need another miner before we can put him on military duty. Let's see who else. This one. Oh, no, that's everyone. Okay. So we have six potential archers, one of whom is our only miner, so we'll leave him off of the squad for now. Labors. Okay, so let's. Uh, got 
some cooking, brewing, butchery. Well, let's make you a, a crafter. jeweler with the glass making that you can do. Shearing, spinning, weaving, clothes making, dye, strand extraction. And you are also a crafter. Whatever crafting we got. Oops. And where is bone carving? Let's put that with there, and whoever becomes the best jeweler first wins. Let's go with that. So these people are crafters. Crafter. 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 I think the rest of them are going to be farmers. Yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I also want them to be on stone detailing and furnace operating and wood burning. Where's wood burning at? That's already in there. Okay, cool. They're ready to move. So let's see how we're doing here. Um, do we make some doors? We need to dig out some. Let's go ahead and cancel this thing. Build, cancel, no. Designate, cancel. Do that later. Because we need to dig out some more bedrooms. my phone. I got a notification from a mobile game that I play called Zoom Zoom. I wonder if any of you all play that game. It's very like the opposite of Door Fortress basically. It's like a little um, Candy Crush type game almost with Disney characters. It's pretty fun. I play it in my spare time a lot. Let's see. Crafter, and let's build a door here. Door. I'm glad I started to build 
um, doors and beds before I even knew that I had uh, dwarfs coming. Okay, so we only need... One, two, three, three bedrooms at most, two bedrooms at least for this next group. We did pretty good. We do need to build some, let's go ahead and build some coffers here. Four, five, uh, we'll just build ten. Doors, beds, one, two, three, four, five beds, that's good. Build some barrels once they pop up. Barrels. V. V for barrel, obviously. And we'll make a couple of ancillary items. Armor stand A. F for cabinet. W for weapon rack. And um, what else do we need? Statues. Eventually we'll need some more tables and chairs, but... Another thing I want to do is build another kind of thing exactly like this onto our... Uh, let's build this side thing first. We need to build an up stairway. Because I would like to... build a kind of guard tower here. Alright. to uh, kill construction D uh, what was that N for remove construction make a doorway here and wall this off so this will be like a little lookout tower I'm going to make it like three or four levels high and then we can make a kind of carve some fortifications. Uh, actually, I don't think you can carve them from scratch, from stuff that you built, but we can make fortifications uh, for the walls. So we can shoot out of them with our archers. Eventually, what I would like to do is um, uh, to wall this in, make a bridge right here, and then um, make like a like a bridge here, and then make a kind of a tunneling thing that goes around, and then back this way, so that any enemies have to go through like a little maze before they can even get to our place with some traps and also going around our tunnel or our, uh, our fortification there. That sounds like a good plan. Look at him go. I guess there's building materials right next to him so it's pretty quick and easy. There we go. Got that stairway happening.
a lot easier with this version to get wood and, um, from my experience so that's pretty nice all right so we got that built that seems like a good place to stop so um, until next time um, where we will build this tower even higher and build something around here all kinds of stuff's gonna happen uh, so make sure to tune in. Till then, I'm Paul Bo Brookins, and we will see you then.